Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. So took a few days off, I'm back, raring to go, really happy to be here with you guys. Today I'm excited because I'm gonna share with you my top five designer fragrances that will help with restlessness and anxiety and help alleviate some of those symptoms of being cooped up, hashtag stay at home. It's a great prerogative, really good thing to do. It protects yourself and those around you. However, it's not always easy. And especially as time goes on and on, you're gonna get that cabin fever built up and you wanna not always Netflix and chill, maybe do some other things. Fragrances are a great way again to alleviate some of that pressure. I'm gonna show you five of my favorite that will help you do that. So stay tuned because that's coming up next. Hey guys and welcome back. Hope this episode reaches everyone doing well both mentally and physically. However, staying at home can cause cabin fever to set in. It's really hard. You've gone through your full comic book set, played all the video games that you could possibly play, watched all the movies to the end of Netflix and over again. You come to the end of the internet, what else is there to do? Well, I'm here to tell you I have discovered five designer fragrances that will help alleviate some of that restlessness and some of that anxiety. By doing so, just by wearing them and just by smelling them, thinking about the notes that are involved in the creation and the design, of the fragrance itself will help kind of alleviate some of that pressure and just make you feel good, right? You've heard of a feel-good fragrance? That's what all of these are, just all-around feel-good fragrances. Fragrances can help is no mere platitude. Also, if you're looking at me and thinking, hmm, he looks a little bit different. I have had a haircut. However, I didn't go out and get one. I did stay at home and I did it myself. Probably the top searched acronym on the internet right now is DIY. And I am coming out with a DIY video on, for guys on how to cut your hair using something as simple as these tiny little wall clippers. And of course they are corded. Always recommend corded clippers just because you get that continuity in your power and it's not gonna snag and it doesn't bite. Be on the lookout for that. If you haven't already hit that bell icon after subscribing, make sure that you do that. That way you get updated as to new content when it drops. A lot of essential oils have been said to have antidepressant and anti-stress properties. And since essential oils are used in fragrances, that can also generally be said of the use of fragrances themselves. First up on my five designer fragrances to help combat mental malaise is Versace Pour Homme. It is virtually impossible to feel bad, be bad, or do bad when you spray this on. Vir vers virtually? Versatually? <laughs> impossible. With top notes like lemon, neroli, and bergamot, which is my trifecta wonder, it virtually shouts good times. It's a very bright, sincere, and playful opening. You've also got clary sage, geranium, cedar, tonka, musk, and amber in this as well. This is an instant spring and summer feel-good classic. Now some people say that this smells like cleaning product. I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. I think when I, the first time that I smelled this, it made me think of Lemon Pledge. This is not, does not smell like Lemon Pledge, but it does have that lemon in it. And it's that very bright, like juicy, almost pungent, powerful lemon. This is a powerhouse in my book. It is a beast of projection. It packs a punch, a really good spring and summer wallop, and it stays with you all day. So literally three or four sprays of this on in the morning, right after taking a shower. That way you've got a fresh emollients of, of your own oils on your skin it mixes with the oils of your skin and it will stay with you and project and give you a nice sillage trail all day long when i spray versace pour Homme on it literally makes me feel like i've had an epiphany like i've got everything figured out or at least greater minds than mine around me have everything on lockdown like we're going to be okay like we're all going to be okay and things are going to work out it's a very positive vibe and it's easy to jump on that type of vibe with this fragrance and just run with it all day long. Again, with that powerful projection, you're gonna get at least 10 to 12 hours of projection out of Versace Pour Homme. So it is definitively, at least in my book, and I'm sure it will be in yours if you try it, if you haven't tried it, a very, very feel-good fragrance. And it will help release some of those negative thoughts that may have been building up, uh, help kind of disperse those a little bit and you can ride the tail again of a, a positive comet, as it were. Next up is a fragrance that is as addictive as they come. It's known for being one of the best date night fragrances out there, and that is Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Now this is The One Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum. You can use them almost interchangeably. The Eau de Parfum is a more, it is a stronger, more intense version 
of the Eau de Toilette. However, they are the same fragrance. The only reason that I chose the EDT is for our purposes of this video, we're talking about fragrances that help you de-stress, that help you relieve some anxiety and some restlessness. And to me, honestly, when you put your finger on the trigger of an atomizer and you depress it, no pun intended, literally, I didn't plan that in advance, my apologies, but when you depress it, there's something, I don't know, releasing about that, right? Almost like curling, you know, if you, if you really are into working out and you, you're, you're really getting into your curls or your pulls or whatever that you like to do, it's almost like a release. The same can be said of, of you know, spraying a fragrance on. It's like a release. You're in control of how much you spray on, you're in control of how many sprays that you spray on, and it just feels good. And that's what this exercise is all about, is feeling good and relieving some of the anxiety that may have built up due to being cooped up because of the pandemic. So we're gonna use the Eau de Toilette because it isn't as strong as the EDP, and you're gonna wanna spray on a little bit more, and maybe even throughout your day, spray on a little bit more than you normally would, and it's gonna feel good to do that. So for our purposes, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDT an intoxicating mix of wonderful, heady notes. Again, the one is traditionally a fall and winter fragrance. It is a date night staple, but for our purposes, we're gonna use it because it is a powerhouse of a seductive, alluring fragrance capable of bringing about a change of mind. In other words, if you're feeling a little bit down, or feeling a little bit depressed, honestly, take the cap off of this, smell it, first of all, to kind of wake up the olfactory sense and let your brain begin working out some of the algorithms of what this actually means to you, creating some scenarios. We, we smell something, we envision something, it, it juices us, juices our creativity and our sparks our imagination, and all of a sudden, we find ourselves making a mind movie, and that's exactly what this does. And it's always seductive, but it's always a feel-good place that it takes you. The one features warm and spicy autumnal notes such as coriander, ginger, orange blossom, cardamom, and rich and luxurious amber, cedar, and tobacco. You gotta love the combination of that. That amber, the cedar, you get the woods, and then the dark, rich, dank, luxurious tobacco. Next up is what I call a silver bullet because it renders the werewolf in every man, aka the hairy unwashed, <laughs> into a better version of himself, and that is Hugo Boss Bottled United. Again, turns every man into a masculine beast of freshness. Now this fragrance has a buku of notes. No, literally, it has a note in it called buku, or buku, and that actually is from the genus Agathosma, which is a about 140 plus types of flowers on the African veldt. And if you've ever been walking on the African veldt or known someone that's visited the African veldt and they're walking along and they suddenly smell a little bit of a lemon, like a bright lemon freshness, then they brushed up against the genus, one of the flowers within that genus of Agathosma, the, the buku or buku. The leaves are crushed up and that's where the, the, the gland is for the, the lemony scent gland. Sounds like an animal. <laughs> Once the leaves are crushed up in that lemon, just very aromatic. Other notes in United are the blood orange, you've got mint, you've got apple, you've even got melon, along with vetiver, patchouli, and the synthetic aroma chemical that appears in a lot of Hugo Boss fragrances, to me, the most memorable of the Hugo Boss DNA, and that is of cashmere, or cashmere wood, or cashmere in, however, cashmere on, however you want to say it, but the synthetic cashmere. Now, it, it is a synthetic aroma chemical, but it doesn't come across that way. One thing I really, really enjoy about Boss Bottle uh, United is that, very similar to Versace Pour Homme, it is a bright side fragrance. You know that song, uh, Mr. Brightside? It is very much a very sunny spring and summer, very uplifting, very energetic, uh, very engaging fragrance. And when you smell this, it engages your sense of smell, it, it sparks your imagination, and soon you're thinking about hiking on wonderful trailheads and reaching these incredible waterfalls that no one's ever seen before or you know falling in falling in love or anything that has sunshine behind it anything that has a really positive and upbuilding and uplifting vibe now you might not think that things like that can come from a fragrance but definitely smelling fragrances like this can result in that mindset and it can actually result in a change of mind reduce your stress reduce your anxiety kind of eliminate some of the restlessness that happens again as a result of being cooped up. It's a little reminiscent of Invictus Aqua, Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua. So it's very bright, it's very aquatic, it's very ozonic, and again, it makes you feel like you're jogging outside on a very bright, sunny day right after it's rained, 
and the sun hits the pavement and it starts that that evaporation of the water so you've got a little bit of humidity only there's a nice breeze that captures that humidity and takes it away you're jogging you hit that runner's high you're feeling really good again nothing but sunshine and positivity in a bottle in this silver bullet kill and cure the werewolf of depression with hugo boss bottle united next up is a wonderful but often forgotten gem of a fragrance and that is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo. Now this is the pillar fragrance of the Uomo line. There are several flankers from this that are also in their own right very, very good. But for our purposes, this here is an amazing, amazing fragrance. Now the word that means cheer me up or pick me up is tiramisu because it actually has the tiramisu note. Now, although it sounds like a Japanese economy car, if you've ever ordered tiramisu, usually in fine dining establishments, it is a dessert that comes right after the main course and it's very it's it's amazing and the smell of it if you if you've never smelled it or if it's been a while that you've smelled it that was that was weak oh my god that is such a heady gourmand fragrance you you literally can't smell this and not smile smile on the inside if you don't want to smile on the outside it is so reminiscent of that those good feelings and that dopamine that drops as soon as you bite into something that you really like. Having the tiramisu note in it is really, it's, it's perfect for our purposes because truly is a pick-me-up or a cheer-me-up. Other notes in Uomo include sharp black pepper, crisp bergamot, a very creamy tonka bean, sandalwood, and cashmere. Balanced with a slightly animalic ambroxan, which gives it that perfect blend and perfect balance of gourmand, yet very extremely masculine fragrance so if you if you fear the word gourmand thinking that it's a sweet more of on the feminine or unisex side you do not need to worry about it in uomo uomo is a very very woody masculine fragrance with a gourmand adjunct or an aside as an assist for this but that tiramisu note really just carries it i will say if you just are offended by tiramisu and don't like it, you, you probably won't like this fragrance because that is the primary note that you get out of this. But it's carried aloft by all those other supremely well-balanced notes and accords. To me, the quality of this fragrance is undeniable and very nearly reaching niche quality. For the price that you pay, which is just right at 40 or just above $40, it's an incredible gem of a fragrance. For our purposes, today's video is talking about fragrances that make you feel good, that kind of release you from the weight of depression, the weight of anxiety, and it will bring about a change of mind, and that's what we're all about. Last on my list of top five designer fragrances that will relieve some of the anxiety and depression that you may be in restlessness that you may be feeling because of our hashtag stay at home is Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct. This is one of my favorite after shower fragrances, not because it smells like a, a shower gel, but because it's got a wonderful, wonderful melon note to it. And when I say melon, I mean like cucumber melon, like that fresh cucumber. If you like cucumber at all and you like kind of a, a, a light, bright, melony vibe, this is an amazing fragrance for that. Oh man, it's one of those fragrances that you spray on and it makes you feel like owning timeshare, right? Going out and buying some timeshare, going out and on purchasing some beachfront property, taking a walk on the beach, sands shoes with sand under your toes and you can hear the, the heavy susurration of the tide and the surf and you've got bright sunshine, you've got seagulls, you've got boats, you hear the creaking of a wood masted sailboat somewhere on the seas this is the fragrance and it is an aquatic fragrance it is more aquatic on the mediterranean side it does have a lot of ozonic notes in it it does last for a good while but about i'm getting about eight to ten hours of longevity out of this fragrance but again it it ranges on the little bit higher side it is not a beast of projection but on a little bit on the higher side so again we're wearing these fragrances to feel good about ourselves not for anyone else don't really care about projection or longevity in terms of of that but in terms of making you feel good or bringing about a change of mind or a change of attitude, this will do so very, very rapidly as all of these that we've talked about today will. Now there is a first instinct extreme. If you like, if you have that and don't have this, you can use it in place because it carries that DNA very well into the extreme. Of course, just like the, the word intense or extreme, it just carries it a little bit longer 
a little bit darker. Well, that's it guys for my top five designer fragrances to help alleviate some stress and anxiety and depression and worry because of the hashtag stay at home directive. You know, if you've got others that you use to make yourself feel good, please share those in the comments below. We always like to hear your thoughts on these things. This is just another one of those to add to the list of things that we can do while we're waiting for the pall or the kind of the miasm of this pandemic to lift. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate you spending time with me today. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time. favorite scenes of, of any movie because it's in a lot of movies is when the camera is panning across a beautiful field of wheat just because it's all that that bright blonde the sun colored you know bleach colored wheat and you've got that blue sky alabaster sky in the background and you've got bright sunshine at the perfect time of day there's something about that setting that just makes me feel good and fragrances like this especially even in the color you know kind of a wheat color tan color will put you in mind and you're going to find that it takes you to a place that makes you feel good you're going to create your own mental imagery and the fragrance is going to juice that for you it's going to take you to your own very very peaceful but seductive and alluring scenario and you can play with it play around with it and see where it takes you take some time with it spray it multiple times one thing about the one that i might suggest and just stay with me here before you go to bed one night open up whatever drawer you keep your undergarments underwear banana hammocks whatever you want to call them open up that drawer and take the cap off and spray all four corners at least one to two sprays in each four corners so either a total of four or eight sprays, and then shut that drawer up and go to bed. Not only will you, the next time you reach for a pair of undergarments, appreciate the aroma that pops out of that drawer, but by proxy, the person that's closest to you, whether they're a workmate, soulmate, whatever, whomever, will really also appreciate that as well. It, cre it creates a nice little surprise because often you'll forget that you've done it, especially if you're doing it late at night, and the next time you, again, open up that drawer, you're gonna get a really wonderful scent it lasts for at least 16 to 20 hours believe it or not if you spray that much in your under what i call underwear drawer or undergarment drawer and you'll really really enjoy that as well as the person closest to you just a little bit of a feel-good suggestion there what makes united such a feel-good fragrance is its propensity for taking an innervated person, right? A lethargic person and infusing in them energy. Anything that you feel a resistance to doing, this will open the door to a better way or at least help to do that by wearing it and smelling it. Try this out, I kid you not. Try this as, as an experiment. The next time you feel a resistance toward doing something, take Boss Bottle United and spray one to two sprays on the top of your hand. And then with that, of course, let it dry a little bit and then smell that smell a couple of whiffs maybe every five to ten minutes and I kid you not think about whatever it is that you were feeling that resistance to and see if you don't have a little bit of a mindset change see if you don't have the energy if not the will if not the desire to go through to push past that wall of resistance and go do what it is that you weren't looking forward to doing or didn't want to do again every five minutes every ten minutes smell and of course think positive thoughts think I can do this I can go work out I can go visit the in-laws no not visit zoom I can zoom the in-laws I can do whatever it is that you're not wanting to do it will put you in a better frame of mind we'll call it the United Challenge try it out I guarantee you you'll have good results I definitely have don't, 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 don't.